Since we were young, we have been repeatedly bombarded by the misconception that sugar causes cavities. What most people don't know is that's only half the truth. Theoretically, it is possible to consume excess amounts of sugar without suffering from cavities as a consequence. Now we need to understand how sugar causes cavities indirectly. Cavity-causing bacteria, known as Streptococcus mutans, utilizes sugar as an energy source, in order to multiply. Like atomic particles, its numbers grow exponentially and this can happen in a short period of time. What complicates matters is that these cavity-causing bacteria release acid as a byproduct. So when there's a huge colony of bacteria releasing excess acid, this causes demineralization of your teeth. Demineralization is the process which weakens enamel, due to a loss of essential molecules in your enamel's structure. When this occurs for an extended period of time, your teeth will start to suffer from decay as cavity-causing bacteria now starts colonizing in the affected area, releasing acid again and again. If no countermeasures are taken, the cavity can deepen to the second layer of the tooth called the dentine. Then, after some time, it will penetrate through it and infect the pulp of the tooth. What happens? You will need the dreaded root canal treatment which isn't just painful, it will also cost you thousands of dollars. The best way to counter it is through remineralization the natural process by which the enamel strengthens and repairs itself. Those who visit the dentist frequently might have heard of remineralizing gel, which is often you sold by dentists. To maintain healthy teeth and gums, the ultimate goal is to let your teeth remineralize more than to be demineralized. It's sort of like math, you need a net remineralization at the end of the day. However, even if you purchase expensive remineralization gel products and take steps to remineralize your teeth, your teeth can still suffer at the end of the day, if you don't possess the right knowledge. Forget about those videos you find on YouTube. Forget about the tips you will find online. They are inadequate and most of them are false, or worse yet, harmful to your oral health. Alice Barnes, author of the Dentist Be Damned program, shares with us that soft drinks are the number one enemy to our teeth. Cavity-causing bacteria uses sugar as an energy source to multiply and release acid as a byproduct, which causes demineralization. Now soft drinks like Coca-Cola are highly acidic due to their high content of phosphoric acid. These drinks may quench your thirst with satisfaction, as the bubbles run down your throat, but your teeth are suffering. That is the problem with kids in America today soft drinks are so easily available and served to them that their oral health suffers drastically. Who suffers the most? The parents. The parents end up paying for their kids' cavities to be drilled and filled. But the family's dentist doesn't warn them against it. No sooner are they out of the dentist clinic, the kids are back drinking sodas and creating further damage to the teeth. This cycle repeats itself until they reach adulthood, or in extreme cases, till they lose all their teeth and resort to dentures. Alice has created the Dentist Be Damned program which teaches readers about how to properly remineralize their teeth, and reverse any possible cavities, eliminate cavity-causing bacteria, and educate readers on many topics which many dentists will never let the public know. You can finally cut down unnecessary dental expenses and save thousands with this invaluable program. If you have a fear of the dentist, this program is your savior.